Hello world, Coach Monk here. This week, we're talking about isometric training. It is essential if you want to stay healthy, increase your athleticism, increase your vertical jump, increase your speed of running, all of these things, absolutely essential. So first of all, if you're an athlete, and you haven't been doing any type of speed training or vertical jump training in a while, let's say you've only done strength training, you're trying to get back into building athleticism and speed, this is a good thing to do. I would recommend doing a month where you do a workout similar to this one twice a week. Again, get off the weights and stuff like that for a solid month. Do this. It's going to make your joints, your ligaments healthy, it's going to stretch everything back out. That way, when you start strength training again, you've got more to work with. For you lo younger athletes, I would say if you're, if you're under the age of 15, you probably don't need to be lifting weights at all. It's really not going to do you much benefit because your body's still growing, your body's still developing. Um, really, you should be focusing on body weight movements, and then just running and jumping. But you can do stuff like this with the isometric training that, again, helps keep your joints and ligaments on point where they need to be. <clears throat> um, you guys that are older athletes, you need to add this into your programming. So for like me, I do um, probably every two weeks, I throw a workout focusing on isometrics, uh, every two weeks, I do at, at least one time. Sometimes if I'm feeling, again, I play it by ear. If I'm feeling a little little sore, feeling like something's off kilter, I'll go back to an isometric workout. Again, you get a great burn, but the real benefit is it's the time under tension. So you're able to give your joints, your ligaments, and your muscles a great workout while stretching them and creating the right holding patterns through the right range of motion it's not going to get you stuck, and it prevents injury. Um, so, again, I can't emphasize this enough. It's one of the best things you can do just for overall health, athleticism, and it's great for recovery as well. So pay attention. Um, we're doing three sets of everything in this workout. Um, I'm demonstrating with a 45-second hold. Now, if I were doing like a month-long buildup, I would add time each week. So like the first week I would hold these movements for 45 seconds each. The next week I might hold for a minute and 15 seconds. The third week I might hold for um, a minute and 45 seconds, two minutes. You want to increase each week if you're doing a build up uh, just to force your body to create the adaptation. But like I said, I use these, again, just every couple of weeks, I throw this in here just to keep everything aligned and keep it healthy. So pay attention, and let's get after it. Peace. All right, so at the beginning of each um, cycle, you're going to hold this fire hydrant hold each leg for 10 seconds. So again, each leg, 10 seconds. Before you go into, you're doing three sets of every movement. So after the third set of the last movement, move into it. So first thing you're doing, it's called Spanish squats. Again, holding for 45 seconds. If you have a band, again, you want to use the band as resistance. You're kind of leaning out from it and the band's pulling you forward. Um, if you don't have a band, do wall sits instead. So here we're doing this one leg. Again, notice the knees over the toe. And this is mimicking kind of your plant foot before you take off on one leg. Like if you're jumping, doing a long jump, jumping to dunk a basketball or shoot a layup. You wanna be up on that toe. You wanna to have it flexed. That back leg extended as far as possible. And then you're doing this each leg for 45 seconds. So again, do it on each leg. If you do this, 
Um, multiple times during the week, one day you'd start on the right leg, the next day you'd start on the left leg, but you do both legs each time. All right, here, these are called Nordics. So again, you want to lean back as far as possible. Eventually, once you build up the range of motion and flexibility, um, guys that are really good at this can get to where they're almost touching their head on the ground. But you're leaning back. Again, this is great for the knee flexibility and then your knees and your um, quads working and firing in the proper sequence. This will also, you'll feel it hit your low back in a way that's very unique and it forces you to keep your core tight while you're doing all of this. So it's working all of that in function. Again, three sets, 45 seconds. And then the last one we're gonna do, this glute bridge. Again, hold, flexed. Again, really firing those glutes and low back. And this, again, these four movements will hit all your bases for what you need to jump high, uh, run fast, and really get the lower body evened out and balanced the way it's supposed to be. So again, on these bridges, three sets, 45 seconds. You can do one leg holds on these as well, but the basic start, I would say, start with the two leg hold as you see here.